I guess it's just the way that you always talked about George. They always seemed... seemed like, um... It sounded like George was... gay. Actually, yes. So? Exactly. <laughs> Come <a> misconception. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Because, because George likes to pretend that he's gay. <laughs> would you do that? Oh, I find it attracts women. Indeed, yes. Work for me. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> oh, my God, race you to the altar. <clears throat> Underplay. Got it. Hey! I'm Jules' fiancé, George. <laughs> Just in time for a quick pre-conjugal visit, if you catch my drift. I do. <laughs> You're gonna humiliate me, aren't you? Only if I can. Okay, just one thing. Stay away from... What? from the rooftops, but Jules said no. Pumpkin, no. This is Kimmy's day. Let's not take the attention away from Kimmy. Oh. 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 Dear, <laughs> sweet, adorable, chocolate-covered Kimmy. Those were her very words. Really? I think I'm gonna cry. Me too. <laughs> George, this is so sweet of you to come to our rehearsal. I insist you stay on to lunch. Oh, yes. No, 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 absolutely. Love to. Love the bag, love the shoes, love everything, love it. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, what about your flight? Cancelled. I can tell you this now, but I was very worried about you. About me? Yeah, I mean, all the stories that Michael told me were hilarious. But I mean, all those broken relationships, all those men... Must have hurt going through so many guys and never finding the right one. Hurt? She couldn't sit down for seven years until she met teensy weensy little me. <laughs> <laughs> and all the while, the man of your dreams is right in front of you. She's talking about me. George. Yes, darling. How did you and Julianne meet? <laughs> George is my editor. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> but Poopy, we met a long time before that. <laughs> Actually, it's a very romantic story. Would, would you like to tell it, Sweepy? No, it's private. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I first met Julianne in a mental institution. Julianne was there visiting some French chef she'd sent insane with a bad review. And I was there visiting Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick? Well, yes, he thought he was Dion Warwick. Who is Dion Warwick? Oh. Uh, Sacrilege, darling. She's Whitney Houston's aunt. She's very good on the Psychic Friends Network, oh. isn't she? Do you know the way to San Jose? La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> so, there I was with Dion, whose real name, by the way, is Jerry. We're having one hell of a sing-song. And then suddenly, breezing through the doors from the electric shock therapy room, I saw her. A vision. Pink. Pink. You don't wear pink. <laughs> oh, she does, Michael. Sometimes she does wear pink. George. You do. I do. Mm. <laughs> I said to Dion, <laughs> Dion, who is this vision? Qu'est-ce que c'est cette vision? Surely she must be the understudy to some fabulous Broadway star. I mean, look at her skin. George. Who does her hair? Please. And in that moment, I knew. Okay, we don't all need to know what yes, we know. Yes, we do. do. No, 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 no. I'm very curious. I do. 
like I knew that someday it would end up like this. Like some glittering Doris Day, Brock Hudson extravaganza. I said to Dion, Dion, I'm in love. Could this siren love me? Are the gods that kind? And Dion <laughs> turned to me, opened her lovely eyes and said, What did she say? The moment I wake up. <laughs> oh. Before I put on my makeup. I say a little prayer for you. <laughs> <laughs> While combing my hair now While wondering what dress to wear now I say a little prayer for you Forever and ever you stay in my heart And I will love you forever and ever You never will part of how I love you together Forever that's how it must be to live without you Would only be in heartbreak for me I run for the bus, dear While riding, I think of us, dear I say a little prayer for you At work, I just take time And all through my coffee 